Let's go ahead and check out another clone. It's been a little while. You guys seem to like these videos in moderation when I do them. I don't want to spam clones on the channel, but uh, for people who are on a budget, you know, I do think they are relatively useful for you. Uh, this one's going to be Al Haramain Detour Noir. So uh, this one just came in stock on Fragrance Buy. I will drop a link down below. I did purchase this myself, by the way, and uh, it's about 20 seven dollars for a tester which this is and i'll cover that in a second and about 30 31 for a full presentation both 100 mil bottles um so testers do come with the cap as you can see here it will however come in just a plain white box so you're not getting fancy presentation and i don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera i left it here i will peel it off but the sticker says tester right there see it so that'll come right off um so it's not really a big deal, um, but again, does come with a cap, so that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let me see if I can get this sticker off. Yep, and the sticker is off, so that's super easy, you know, and wouldn't even know the difference after you take that off. So um, I've had this one for a while now. I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on it. Of course, this is a Parfums de Marly Leighton clone, right? Leighton, everyone knows it, very popular stuff. Uh, this Al Haramain was selling like absolute crazy seems like people go nuts over this one, so I wanted to pick it up. Uh, you know, one of the comments I was seeing was, okay, well, how's it compared to Lalique White and Black, which I've already covered, also a latent clone. There are differences, and we're gonna talk about that. So let's start off with how this one smells. Now, when you first spray it on, and I'll wear it along with you guys, Atomizer is pretty decent for the price also. Uh, you are you know right away that it's, it's latent. <laughs> There's no mistaking it. You know, there are some fragrances out there that are, you know, maybe not even considered clones, but loosely inspired by, and, and you smell it and you go, that reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. That's not the case with this one. You spray it and you go, oh yeah, that's latent. I mean, it happens right off the bat. So you get that sweetness. One thing I find is a, a good dose of a spiciness, and that's when I spray it uh, either on paper, in the air, or on my skin, I get the spiciness. I was looking at the note breakdown though and I don't really see any spicy notes. You know, for me it's a, a strong cinnamon, but they don't list that. I will go ahead and read off the note breakdown while we're talking about that. We've got almond, jasmine, cypress up top, amber, cedar, heliotrope in the mid, vanilla, musk, sandalwood in the base. So the note breakdown may not remind you of Leighton right off the bat. You're not seeing the apple, uh, the cinnamon, the lavender, you know, your typical latent breakdown. You're not seeing that. You're seeing some different notes in here. The almond is unique for sure. Do pick up on a little bit of an almond, kind of creamy almond, nutty smell, kind of like what you would get in Loam Ideal, you know, that type of almond, kind of creaminess. Um, one thing I do pick up on is the jasmine heliotrope combo, which gives it a freshness. Now, it doesn't push this one into the floral zone like it may look. Uh, it still maintains its sweetness and its warm spiciness and kind of its woodiness. So it's nothing to worry about there. Uh, but do keep in mind, there is a little bit of like a, a fresh balance coming from those florals. You get a good amount of the sandalwood and the cedar wood, like I mentioned, a woodiness here, primarily in the base. That's when those come up the most. The cedar wood, I would imagine, is maybe lending to some of the spiciness, even though it's listed in the mid. I kind of pick up on the spiciness right away. And I don't know, it's just weird to me that there isn't a cinnamon note listed. Uh, you know, you definitely pick up on something of the like. So where does this one fall in terms of uh, something like Lalique White and Black here? Uh, I find for me that I would reach for this one or this one, depending on what I was after. You know, as I've been testing the Al Haramain, I've kind of noticed that the Lalique is probably going to be the closer of the two, talking clones and, and getting as close to Leighton as possible. Lalique is probably the winner in that front. You know, I think it's the closest in this price range that you can get. Now, that's not discounting uh, this one here at all, Detour Noir, uh, but there are some differences, mainly being kind of that freshness. You also don't really get much of an apple either, um, but what I do like about this one is it does go very vanilla heavy, more vanilla heavy than something like Leighton or uh, the La Lique does as you get further into the dry down. It almost gets a little bit more syrupy and creamy as well compared to the Lalique. So there are differences here. And that's, for me, it's a good thing. <laughs> Why would I want uh, this one to smell exactly like the Lalique? Then there's no point. This kind of gives you some variety. So depending on what you're, you're after in a fragrance, you know, if you want 
more vanilla, maybe less apple, a little bit more of a freshness. You could go the Al Haramain direction. If you want kind of just to get as close to actual Leighton as possible, then you can go with the La Lique. But that kind of leaves the question of what if you already own Leighton and you just want something a little bit different, kind of just a step in a different direction to that one that you can wear on for cheap. That's where something like this would come in. And I think that's the beauty of it. You know, obviously I have Leighton, but now this gives me the alternative or the option to uh, wear something that smells a bit different, you know, a little bit of a different twist. But I also get to save a lot of money by not burning through my bottle of Leighton, which is pretty easy to do in wintertime. A little bit goes a long way, don't get me wrong, but if you wear it heavily throughout the cooler months, you can put a dent pretty quick. They've got pretty decent atomizers on them, kind of like Creed's. Uh, it doesn't take long to start running that bottle down. Longevity on my skin has been very consistent, which is good to see. I've been testing it here in this kind of spring weather, which has been all over the place, of course. Uh, you know, anywhere from uh, upper 40s, low to mid 50s, and some days it's even been up to, you know, mid 70s, all kind of around in there. And no matter what the weather conditions were during that time, if I'm out messing around, whatever, it's been holding solid at about eight hours or so on average in terms of longevity, which for the price is very, very good. Um, that That's rivaling a lot of other fragrances out there that are, you know, 60, 70, 80 dollars that you may only get five, six hours out of. I also find projection to be pretty strong and confident as well. Uh, the warmer it is, the more it will project, and that's pretty much true with most fragrances. You've got some beast mode scents like Red Tobacco, which will still fill a room in wintertime, but now imagine wearing that fragrance in summertime. It would be completely crazy. So if you wore this one on like a summer evening or something like that, you would get really strong projection out of it, you know, especially if it's kind of humid. So I would definitely back your sprays off there in that environment. But with that being said, I think this DNA would work great for summer evenings if you're looking for a kind of a sweet date night scent in the summertime that has a bit of a fresh balance like with this one here, you know, the florals coming through, this would be a, a really nice option. And in the summertime, I would probably choose Al Haramain, you know, Detour Noir over the original Leighton or Lalique White and Black for an evening out. I like that fresh balance here. It kind of does this one something good, a little bit different. One thing that I do find interesting though, you know, the longer it sits on your skin, I do pick up on a little bit of an apple smell, even though they don't list it. It's kind of weird. I don't know if maybe I don't have the full note breakdown here. Maybe they just didn't give us everything. But a couple things I do think are missing from the note breakdown is a hint of apple, not as strong as in Leighton or the Lalique, and also just some sort of sweeter cinnamon spice, something along those lines. They're not giving it to us here, but you do pick up on it. Another thing I want to touch on really quickly and then we'll be done is quality. It's impressive. Uh, as soon as I got this one out of the box and I sprayed it for the first time, I was shocked, you know. Fragrances in this price range, a lot of times you can be greeted with kind of a, a alcohol blast. You know, you spray it on and it can be a little bit harsh. It's not something that you always want to smell right away, put your nose right up to it because it might be a little bit offensive, you know. Quality is going to be lower in lower priced fragrances. That's just how it is. However, sometimes you have diamonds in the rough like this one and like a lot of other cheapies as well in this price range where uh, you can get away with a really good quality scent even right off the top, right off the first spray. As soon as you spray it on, it's smooth right out of the box and I think that's pretty impressive and you don't always get that. And I'm talking from clones and just from, you know, standard fragrances that are trying to do their own thing. Uh, quality is remarkable on this one. Is it going to match the, the quality of Leighton or other niche products or, or anything like that? No, of course not, but it, it can hold its own. So I think that's really going to do it for me. Uh, Detour Noir, it's kind of a strange name. A lot of the clone names and even the bottles are a little bit kind of weird and wacky and don't always make sense. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> all that matters is on the inside. The fragrance itself has a slight tint to it as well. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it, it's impressive. You know, I was going into it kind of not for sure. And I came out on the other end like, hey, this is actually really good. And I was excited to share this with you guys. I will link it down below. It seems to be one where it sells out and then it's gone for a while. So if you want to get one, I would get one while you can. Uh, it's nice to have. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.